people who move to cloud often find out that uh, they think it's just a case of moving from one piece of infrastructure to another and they're then on cloud without realizing that the cloud and particularly AWS is an immense pool of value. Jonathan, I guess you come across that all the time in your role. How does AWS help um, get people from SAP on premise or a data center into the cloud? I think the first thing that's really important is to work backwards from any scenario that, uh, that customers are looking to achieve. Um, and uh, in some cases, we see customers who want to do uh, a straightforward lift and shift. And um, to do that, uh, in certain circumstances, there are a range of AWS um, application migration tools that enable you to do that, that uh, lift and shift very easily uh, with minimal risk uh, and minimal uh, levels of downtime. The other scenario can be where where our customers want to do a homogeneous system copy effectively a backup um, and that's ideal for organizations that simply just want to move very quickly onto aws with minimal risk and minimal uh, amounts of change one example just to give you an illustration is the aws launch wizard uh, that's a free service that brings aws and sap best practices together for a guided automated um, uh, deployment experience. So it's a fully uh, SAP S4 uh, installation, literally done in a, a matter of a, a few hours uh, versus weeks uh, in which it might take before. And that includes not just the infrastructure and network setup, but also the, the server and the storage configuration, all of the operating system uh, deployment and the SAP software installation as well. Just, just coming back to, you, you were talking about risk, two, th two things within risk, I guess. One would be the scenario where you, your mid-migration, you know, in, in the old days, your mid-migration and, and the unexpected happens. <laughs> yes. Uh, which can halt the project. Um, and, and the second thing I'm interested to hear your thoughts on, uh, where people are moving from uh, let's say SAP ECC6 on premise to S4 HANA on AWS in the cloud. Um, how how do they go about sizing what the to be should look like? How do they look at that? Um, because you're moving from a scenario where one's very uh, disk heavy to 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 memory heavy. Um, and, and how, going through that process, how can we, uh, how can we take some, how can we provide some certainty in and around that? First of all, obviously any migrations can have uh, some surprises uh, in, in them, no matter how well planned they are. As far as SAP uh, sizing is concerned, clearly with S4 HANA, that is more of a, uh, it's an in-memory database. Um, and therefore it will consume CPU and, and memory resources. Um, and because it's in memory, it will consume less in terms of disk resources. And also, of course, um, SAP HANA uh, builds in a lot of compression uh, into that. The other thing I would say is that in a lot of cases we find as um, the S4 implementation, whether it be a greenfield or brownfield, uh, implementation is required. Quite often there's a need for, say, a sandbox system, uh, for example, through the project. We can spin up easily that, that sandbox system um, to support the project requirements, and then you can easily shut it down uh, when you don't need it. Carlos, coming to, come to yourself for a moment. One of the, the great things about Software One is we are SAP specialists. <laughs> but we are also AWS specialists, which means what we bring to a client is the best of both. Would you like to give us a sort of, um, some of the things that we, we typically do to ease that process with our clients? So the first thing that we'll typically do is work with uh, the customer to try and understand those goals for the migration, assess their existing environments. There might be a re-platforming, um, possibility for things like databases, moving them from uh, running in um, 
an instance to actually running as a service with RDS, uh, or there may be a possibility for a more modernization uh, type approach where you're taking an existing application and perhaps uh, containerizing that application and, uh, and making it more modern. So we look at all those different things and then we pick the appropriate uh, automations and tools to facilitate those uh, those workload transformations. What we have certainly found in SAP space is people start off thinking that they're moving SAP to AWS cloud, but as you take them on that journey and you sort of open the the, the window that is AWS, um, you know, a whole host of things can then be considered. You know, the traditional IT team, what's, what's their involvement in this? Some customers prefer for us to do uh, the migration and then for them to take it over once it's done. Um, and uh, there's, there's often the case as well with, um, with customers that um, they're already very tightly stretched in IT. So doing a, not another major project like a migration, they just don't have the bandwidth to do it. So they need that additional uh, capability from a partner like Software One to be able to actually come in and allow them to carry on doing business as usual while the migration actually takes place. So, so the last thing to pick up on is so we talked about SAP um, and when people talk about SAP, they mainly think ERP. We talked a, bit, a little bit about non-SAP applications. You know, do you find uh, people are are also moving BW into AWS and, and data lakes where they can then, you know, mix that data from, from other systems uh, or are they running BW in, in AWS? Yes, well, first of all, we've got literally uh, thousands of customers running BW on, on AWS. Uh, of course, BW is an in-memory uh, database um, and BW4 as well. Um, uh, and I would see a data lake as being complementary to that of, of BW um, uh, on HANA. The data lake is a great uh, place to actually uh, take data out of SAP, but also your non-SAP estate as well. Uh, and you can extract that data. We've got a range of tools such as AppFlow that enable you to easily take uh, data out of SAP um, and other uh, applications uh, at an application level um, and, and do that with, 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 with at a relatively low cost. But I think the most exciting part of, of, of all of this is the ability of us to use artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities to really get mu so much more out of your data. And I think that's a really exciting area and a great business opportunity uh, for 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 customers to leverage all of the capabilities of AI and ML. Gentlemen, I'd like to just thank you for your time. Uh, I think between the pair of you, um, we, we you know we have a safe pair of hands. Uh, MD watching this, all I'd like to say to you is if you are thinking of moving SAP to the cloud and you would like to talk to us further, please get in touch. Gentlemen, thanks a lot. Thanks, Ian.